In 1990, Phil Fontaine shocked the nation. My grade three class, if there were 20 boys uh, in this particular class, every single one of the 20 would have experienced what I experienced. The then head of the Assembly of Manitoba Chiefs revealing he had been sexually abused at the Fort Alexander Residential School on Seguin First Nation. At the time, he demanded an investigation from the Catholic Church, which ran the school. Today, decades later, the RCMP revealed it has been investigating, that it started looking into allegations of abuse in 2010 and launched a criminal investigation a year later, and that police have talked to more than 700 people across North America, gathered 75 witness and victim statements, and combed through thousands of documents. There are rapists and murderers who are still living, who committed these horrific crimes. Mounties have probed abuse at residential schools before. In 1994, BCRCMP created a task force to investigate historic, physical and sexual abuse at 15 church-run schools. Hundreds of victims were identified, resulting in 148 convictions for sexual assault. Jacqueline Romano has friends who were abused at the Fort Alexander School. She says today's news will open old wounds. I know that these experiences shaped their lives, uh, affected their ability to trust. Today, I think our, all of our thoughts and prayers are with a community that is deeply hurting. Manitoba RCMP aren't the only ones investigating. Saskatchewan Mounties say they are looking into alleged abuse at one school. Manitoba prosecutors are now reviewing evidence to see if any charges will be laid here. Austin Grabish, CBC News, Winnipeg.